We've come a long way in the last two hours, and so I just want to take a moment to do a quickfire recap of everything we've been through. We started off by looking at those three skills which come together to form data science. We looked at the various types of machine learning, classification, regression, and unsupervised machine learning, before exploring what else is out there beyond machine learning. We saw how data science skills, tools, and roles come together to solve these problems. And we saw how it's important for business leaders to have a basic understanding of data science methodologies. In our regression chapter, we learned how to create that line of best fit, and that ultimately the goal is to minimize the amount of error to our data points. We explored the concepts of overfitting and underfitting as to how we measure the performance of our model. On the classification side, we looked at logistic regression, naive Bayes, KNN, and other algorithms that help us separate different target classes. K nearest neighbors was a nice example of a very visual algorithm that helps us separate those classes. The evaluation metrics help us to assess the quality of our predictions and how well our model is performing. On the data prep side, we looked at how to identify errors and perhaps even what to do with them. In our EDA section, we looked at descriptive stats to look at how continuous variables were distributed. We looked at the correlation matrix, which allowed us to see how variables were correlated. On the feature engineering, we can ask all sorts of questions about how to improve our data set for the analysis we're doing, whether it's outliers, scaling, grouping, or one-hot encoding. We've seen that training and testing is essential to model performance. We must test our models on data they haven't seen before. And in our final chapter, we looked at ensemble models, where models come together to improve predictions. We saw a couple of examples of unsupervised learning, where the goal is instead to group rows or columns in our dataset. You now know the very basics of a neural network, and you've seen the Monte Carlo simulation as an elegant example of what exists in data science beyond just machine learning. Overall, I hope we've guided you through all of the main concepts of data science that you were hoping to explore. As we've gone through this introductory course on data science and machine learning, I've mentioned a few of our other courses, so I wanted to make it clear how all those pieces fit together. Our BEDA program focuses on business intelligence and data science. And whilst they answer quite different questions, they both follow a very similar pattern of collecting data, transforming it, doing analysis, and then visualizing it. The top half of this diagram represents the BI roles that fit within the process and the courses for BI. But what I'd like to talk about is how the data science courses fit in here. You just completed data science and machine learning fundamentals. Two key skills you're likely going to need to do the rest of our courses are Python fundamentals and stats fundamentals, so I recommend you look at those next. Once you've done that, you'll be ready to tackle our full courses in both regression and classification. You'll be looking at those concepts in more detail and running through multiple practical applications. Next, you'll be wanting to look at SQL, which will help you with your data prep skills. Data prep for data science is the first in a long line of courses in our course development pipeline. We're also excited about our fundamentals and other case studies which we'll release to help you continuously develop your skills. Our fundamentals courses are full of real world examples and teach you to think on the job, but our case studies take this a step further and guide you through a problem that you need to solve. In my opinion, you will not find a better priced, more comprehensive, and more interactive BI and data analysis program out there. Check out the beta syllabus on our website, and I hope to see you again soon. Congratulations for making it to the end of this data science and machine learning course. You should now feel confident to engage in conversations about data science and machine learning concepts, to start working more closely with your data science team, or to tackle one of our more focused courses. You should now understand the fundamental parts that make up the world of data science, the terminology used, and the roles, skills, and tools used within it. You should have a good grasp of machine learning terminology, from exploratory data analysis, feature engineering, 
and have a good conceptual knowledge of both regression and classification. If you've loved watching as much as we've enjoyed creating the course, please do share it on LinkedIn. I would love to hear what you think. I hope you'll join us again for more content from the Business Intelligence and Data Analysis program. I look forward to seeing you soon.